What's up, YouTube? It's Alice Musashi, and today I'm gonna show you guys the strongest magic card turn build in this game. Holy shit, man! What I got here is incredibly special. Let me show you guys. First of all, we managed to get 4,595 magic. Holy shit, man, this is <laughs> absolutely insane. We're gonna kill Diamond in possibly one minute. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. But first, first, let me show you guys what we got here. We got uh, 4,595 uh, 4, magic with a base magic of 866. In order to get 866 base magic, you must choose a mage as a starting class and then level up all the way to level 10. And once you hit level 10, you should choose you should change to sorcerer and then level up all the way to 200 as a sorcerer. Then you're gonna get 866 magic. Uh, for the primary weapon, which we're, gonna, we're using he, here, the heaven's key, it doesn't really matter because we're not using the daggers for damage output, just for buffs. That's why I chose these daggers because they look pretty cool and they have holy base damage, which helps healing yourself when you deliver some uh, flurry of blows. Uh, for defense, we don't have much defense, but it doesn't really matter because we're basically destroying everything with this build here. For the skills, we're using 100 kisses, instant reset, magic rebalancer, which is the equivalent of a demon spirit rept, but you can use it whenever you want at the cost of stamina. And for the damage skills, we're using 9 Fold Bolt, Explosive Volley, and Ricochet Hunter. For the augments, uh, we're using Acuity, which increases your magic attack by 20%. A tournament that increases your magic attack by 10%, autonomy that increases your magic and strength by 20% when you're traveling alone, that means when you have no pounds around, uh, bloodlust that increases your magic and strength by 20% at night time, articulacy that, that decreases the time required to intone any spells that uh, also decreases the time required to for magic archer skills, I mean the bow skills. And sign you that grants energy to carry additional weight, uh, roughly 20 kilos. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me show you the items now, right? We're using the Heaven's Key, as I said before. This is just for uh, appearance purples, uh, fashion, and things like, because we're not using this for damage. We're using just a Black Wing Bow as our main weapon, which has a base magic attack of. 1522 uh, for the headgear we're using the diadem which increase our magic by 10 points for the chest clothing we're using the martial bracers which increase our strength by 7 points but it's not required since we're not using physical damage just magic and uh, we're using the trophy jacket that increase our magic by 20 points if I'm not wrong yeah, 20 points, that's right. Uh, we're using the Trophy Braces that increase our magic by another 20 points. And silk Tights are not required because it, there's, there's actually no Light Cloth and that increase magic attack. Uh, and the Trophy Boots that increase our magic by 30 points, if I'm not wrong. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but I think it's 30 points. Uh, for the cape, we're using the Sovereign Mantle that increases our strength by 10 points. Uh, but as I said before, it's not really required since we're not using physical damage. Uh, for the rings, we're using a Master Ring that increases both magic and health, which is the best combo uh, for this build here. And actually, the, the magic boost is pretty low on the ring that I got. That is just 85, so you can get another... 15 magic points, so you can surpass the 4,600 4, uh, overall magic for a magic archer. And we're using this skill ring here, 
which is a must have if you're running a magic archer that enhances your six fold bolt and explosive rivet which are the two best skills we have as a magic archer for damage output so let's cut the conversation let's go to the fight i hope you guys enjoy this uh, for the beginning we're gonna stack magic rebalancer four times for full magic uh, boost that's equivalent uh, of stacking four demon periods and now let's go to the thing So that was the first form, pretty fast. Now to the second form he's going to use his... Oh my... Gotta be extremely careful with those attacks he uses. There we go, my friends! <laughs> that was the fastest Daemon kill that I personally did with this build right here. It was astonishing fast, as you <laughs> just witnessed it here in this video. This Magic Archer build is in my opinion the strongest build in the entire game uh, regardless of other classes this is the highest damage output uh, okay i know that the archer has the blast arrows and things like that but uh, talking about just the the character without boosts such as periaps without boosts such as other kinds of arrows this is with no doubt the strongest build ever so that's it guys, I hope you enjoy. This thing here is just absolutely insane. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like that. And if you like the video, please don't forget to give us a, to give us a like, that helps our channel grow. So thank you so much guys and until the next episode, see you!